Hello, welcome back. This is part three of the video, and then in part three, we're going over the VLAN configuration. Okay. So, we have it, the first question says configure VLAN 4, VLAN 5, VLAN 6, 7, 8, 9, on switch 1, switch 2, switch 3, and switch 4. Okay, so you first of all start with switch one you go to the system view then you do vlan batch vlan batch four to nine because you're supposed to create vlans from four five six seven eight nine all right so you, you run this command on all the other switches yes and then uh to prevent these logs from showing these things all right you, you inside the user view you do undo terminal monitor okay then you create our vlan four to nine okay and then the question says on switch one right. on switch one Interfaces G004 and 21 are access ports in VLAN 4. So we come to switch one. Let me just undo terminal monitor. We come to switch one and then it says interface 4 and 21 are access ports. So you go into interface 4, G004. Then do port link type access. And it says it should be in VLAN 4. So you do port default VLAN 4. When you are done, you do the same thing for interface 21. So you go into G0021 port link type access. Then port default VLAN 4. Then interface 5 and 23 are access ports in VLAN 5. So you go to interface G005, port link type access, port default VLAN 5. Now we enter port 23, link type access. Default VLAN 5. Also, interface I access interface 15 is an access port in VLAN 6. Then, IV says interface 1. It's an access port in VLAN 8. Now it says interface 9. Right. Interface 9 is a trunk port. Interface 9 and 13 are trunk ports. So you do port link type trunk. Okay. And then it says for both trunk ports, allow all VLANs to pass except VLAN 1. So you do port trunk, diff, uh, port trunk allow pass VLAN 4 to 9. So this will allow VLAN 4 to 9 to pass, but it won't allow frames from VLAN 1. Then you do the same thing for interface 13. And interface 13 you do port link type trunk and port trunk allow pass VLAN 4 to 9. So that will be it for switch 1. Then you follow the instructions on switch 2. You do the same up to switch 4.
Okay, so after that, if you want to verify what you've done, you will go, let's say you are in switch one. In the system view, you do display VLAN. This will show you a, a description of all that you've done. So on switch one, let's interface. 4 and 21 are access port in VLAN 4. So inside VLAN 4, sorry, inside VLAN 4, we have port 4, interface 4 and 21 carrying on tagged frame that is UT, meaning they are access port. And then interface 5 and 23 are in VLAN 5 carrying on tagged port, so they are access port. Same, so you can follow that for the tagged trunk port, trunk port are carrying tagged frame so we have tg tag which is the question said vlan um, interface 9 and 13 so interface 9 and 13 should allow frames from all vlans to pass so it should be inside vlan 4 5 6 7 and 8 yes so that's how you verify your configuration then configure vlan interfaces which are the vlan ifs from table one note the default the department and their assigned VLAN. Refer to your calculated address ranges in section 3 and do as follows. On switch 1, so on switch 1, assign the last valid RAP address in VLAN 6, 7, and 8 to their respective VLAN interfaces. So, on what is VLAN 6? This is VLAN 6. The last IP address in VLAN 6 will be 10.10.10.254 10 10 slash 28. So on switch 1, you go to interface, right? Interface VLAN F6. And then you do IP address 10.10.10.254 10 10 10 slash 28. That's the sublet mask. Then the question says you should do the same for VLAN 7 and 8, which is VLAN 7. The last address is 10.10.10.158. So you do interface VLAN F7, IP address 10.10.10.158. One five eight slash twenty seven. You go back to interface VLAN F eight. VLAN F eight is engineering ten dot ten dot ten dot one ninety slash twenty seven. So you do IP address ten dot ten dot ten dot one nine zero slash twenty seven. Then the next question says on switch 2, assign the last valid addresses in VLAN 4, 5, and 9. Right, so we go to quest switch 2. We enter interface VLAN F4. VLAN F4 is ITA. The last valid address is 10.10.10.238. So we do IP address. 10.10.10.238. The yeah, subnet mask is 28. Do the same for VLAN F5. VLAN F5 is 10. The IP address is 10.10.10.126 10 slash 25. You do the same for VLAN F9. VLAN F9 is 10.10.10.23 slash 27. So IP address. So 10.10.10.22 slash 27. Okay. And then it says here that finally assign the last but one address in VLAN 6. To VLAN if six on switch two. So VLAN six, we've already used two five four. So the last but one is two five three. So you go to interface VLAN if six, 
send you IP address 10.10.10.253 slash 28. Okay, so that will be the end of this part. We will meet in the next session for the STP configuration. Thank you.